What is up, people of YouTube? I'm your host, Vernon. This is a swimming pool. Let's fish that. All right, guys, this is going to be my second little video where we explore little lures underwater. Uh, if you missed the first one, I put a little link in the card above here if you want to go and have a look at that one. Uh, quite recently, my videos aren't getting a lot of views, uh, but I do appreciate the views that I am getting from you guys. Thank you for your support. Uh, I do know the guys watching my videos are my true fans, uh, and for this reason, I would actually like to play a little game with you guys. Uh, if you would like to play along, uh, I would like to ask you to get a little pen and paper or something, because in this video, there are going to be several little places where I have little hidden secrets, uh, and I want you guys to write them down uh, on a piece of paper, and at the end of this video, perhaps go down to the comments and try and list all the places where you can find these little hidden secrets in my video. Let's see if you guys can find all of them. Okay, but this video is about lures underwater. Um, today I would like to focus on some spinners and spoons, have a look at how they react underwater. Uh, so let's get started with the first one, a little beetle spin. Alright, so in South Africa I never actually saw any of these little beetle spins. I don't know whether they are supposed to be for trout or whether they are for bass. Uh, quite small little things, but quite good action on the blade. I think the blade is there supposed to draw in the fish. Uh, not that much action on the little fish or worm or beetle part. Uh, but quite interesting, I would like to actually use this to try and catch some fish as it's something that I've never fished with before. But after seeing how it looks in the water, I think this might be something interesting to go and try. Uh, up next, I quickly want to have a look at some cast masters. Alright, so in the normal sideways motions, these little lures are actually moving quite straight, not a lot of action on them. They do give off a shine every few seconds when they turn and move, they have this little flash. Um, but in the, in the view where they go from the deeper water to the shallows, you can see that this has a very strange, weird dropping action. I think that is why these work pretty well for trout. Uh, all of the fish I've caught on these little cast masters all have been trout, uh, seemingly going for the silver and the gold ones. Uh, and the way this thing moves in the water, I think that's why they like it. So, next one I want to look at is a little chatterbait. Alright, so this little chatterbait is actually a very cheap little one that I got from a store. I don't think this is how they actually should work, uh, because when you move them through the water, the blade in front is supposed to be moving. The only way I could get this one's little blade to start spinning is by letting it fall and then ripping it through the water. A quicker movement than it started moving, but as soon as you do a normal straight retrieve, this one stopped. Uh, not a very good chat about this one, however, uh, but it does give me an idea of how they work and I would probably go and get some better chatterbaits to try this again. Uh, next I would like to have a look at two little different styles of spoons. I'm going to group these two together uh, just to have a look at how they look in the water 
uh, because spoons are kind of a different category from the little spinner baits. Uh, but I'm going to group this with this one. All right, so from this footage, you can see that spoons are more likely winter type of things. Quite smoother action, not a wobbly, crazy, noisy thing going. It's a more smooth wobble in the water type thing. Uh, so I think that's why these spoons work better during winter times. And uh, the one with the little bow in it, uh, that one actually looks quite good as it falls in the water as well. Uh, so you can perhaps do a little uh, fall retrieve fall movement on that one. Uh, I do know trout also like that little lures. Up next I would like to have a look at my new favorite little lure to be using, especially for trout fishing. Uh, something I have never used in South Africa really. I uh, only started using this when I came to the US and that would be a little inline spinners, a little rooster tails. Alright, so not a lot of fancy movement on these little lures, just a little spinning of the blade around, but it's that that causes this noise in the water and this vibration, and fish just seem to come undone for it, whether it be bass or trout, they seem to love this little swimming thing in the water, and that's why I love using these little rooster tails. The final little footage that I want to be looking at is our normal spinner baits. I have two different colors, uh, just to get an idea of how they look in the water. Let's quickly have a look at that. All right, so with these, I did struggle to get them to work in the same way. You'll see that in some of them, the tail part is not in sync with the little blade. Uh, it's quite difficult if you do not hook on your little trailer part correctly. Uh, they don't go in sync. Them being synced up is quite important. Um, however, I failed in this circumstance, but I did manage to catch some bass on the little white one that we saw. So it does still work. Uh, you just get better results if they are moving at the same speed in the water. However, these things, I believe it's more the noise and vibration that these little blades make that draws in the fish and they lash out at the little swimming part below that. Alright guys, I'm going to try and keep these videos a bit shorter, not try to stretch them out too long. So I think that's going to be it for this little one where we had a look at our little spinners underwater. Yet again, I want to thank you guys for watching. If this isn't the first video of mine you're seeing, feel free to go check out on my channel, go see the other content, some fishing spots and different types of fish. Uh, consider hitting the little subscribe button. If you enjoyed this little video, give me a little thumbs up. Do remember to comment down below all the little hidden secrets. Uh, if you found any, go down there, give me the time slots where you think you spot a little secret. We'll see if you can get all of them. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.